Thank you, Sean President. EU sanctions, when they're not backfiring against ordinary Europeans, they're firing on all cylinders against ordinary people in the global south. By overwhelming majorities, the United Nations General Assembly and the UN Human Rights Council have over the years again and again and again and again condemned the kinds of unilateral sanctions that the EU and US apply against poorer countries. They've said that they disproportionately harm the most vulnerable. They've said that they undermine people's human rights. Again and again, they've called on the West to stop adopting and implementing them. And here we are, not only ignoring this global condemnation, but going further and criminalizing those who dare to fail to comply with them in the first place. Meanwhile, we refuse to impose a sanction that we're legally obligated to impose, that of an arms embargo on Israel. This, friends, is the rules-based international order. 60% of people worldwide who rely on humanitarian aid are in countries under sanction. Most need aid because of the sanctions. Sanctions are weapons of war. In the global south, they starve and they destroy. And they most always never achieve what they're supposed to do. The definition of madness is repeating the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. But we know when it comes to human rights, the EU lost its mind quite some time ago. Thank you. And what